during fasting adipose tissue and the liver provide most of the energy needed by the body adipose tissue provides fatty acids from lipolysis of stored triglycerides whereas the liver produ- provides glucose and ketone bodies as alternative energy sources. Exercise or fasting will trigger an increase in epinephrine in the bloodstream. Epinephrine will then stimulate the beta-adrenergic receptor in adipose tissue and increase the lipolysis of stored triacylglycerol. Epinephrine activates the beta-adrenergic receptor, which in turn causes the increase in cyclic AMP in adipose tissue, which in turn activates protein kinase A, which in turn phosphorylates hormone-sensitive lipase and activates it, resulting in the hydrolysis of triacylglycerol and the release of three fatty acids and glycerol to the bloodstream. Plasma glucose is maintained somewhere between 80 and 100 milligrams per deciliter. This happens because of the effects of glucagon and epinephrine on the liver's glucose output. Under the influence of these two hormones, the liver's two pathways responsible for restoring blood glucose, namely glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis, are both activated. By restoring blood glucose, the liver provides key tissues like the brain and red blood cells with the glucose they need as their major energy source. The liver will be increasing ketone body synthesis, ketogenesis, because it's using fatty acids uh, uh, as a source of energy, producing a lot of acetyl-CoA, and some of that acetyl-CoA is used in ketogenesis. So note how important the liver is. It's providing glucose, providing ketone bodies, two different forms of energy to other tissues to use during fasting.